Hello, I am Sebastian Delorme, webmaster of Defom.club. I am going to tell you the story of a man who was kicked out of his girlfriend's house by his stepdaughter after his girlfriend died. Several years ago, a cohabiting couple moved to the property behind my backyard. I discovered that the girlfriend bought the house. She lived in this new house with her boyfriend. We are going to call the boyfriend, Henry. So, Henry renovated the house from A to Z. He bought the materials and did the house makeover job on his own. He built a wall to replace the old, rusted front fence. He replaced the side fences by brand new fences. Henry also changed all the house doors and windows. He renovated every single room inside the house. He poured a concrete slab in front of the house to create a car park. He installed a sliding gate. He took him one year to complete the renovation work. Two years later, his girlfriend caught a cancer and died. This girlfriend was in her late 40 ties and she had a daughter from a first marriage. This daughter lived far away from her mother's house. The said daughter inherited the house. Henry told me several times that he got along well with the daughter. Just after the death of his girlfriend, he was confident about his future. Then, after several months, things completely changed. The daughter decided to evict Henry from what was the mother's house. The daughter gave a two-month notice to Henry and she decided to rent out the house to a retired couple. It means that Henry didn't benefit from the humongous work that he did inside and outside the house. Thanks to the renovation performed by Henry, the house value increased by 50% to reach $450,000. You hear me well, thanks to Henry's work the house value doubled. However, Henry's girlfriend did not marry him or she didn't add his name to the house title. For you to understand this situation, keep in mind that both were in their late 40 ties. Henry was the first crush of his girlfriend when she was young. Then, they lost sight of each other. They made a life in different countries. After getting divorced, the woman decided to come back to her first love. Just like in a fairy tale, they came back together. Then, they decided to reside in the town where they met for the first time. They lived in Paris several years before moving to the house behind my backyard. The death of the girlfriend ended the fairy tale and represented a reality check for Henry. Henry's girlfriend had plenty of time to marry him before dying. It looks like she didn't want to share her assets with her boyfriend since he was poorer than her. As I said before, she didn't add him to the house title even after he completed a huge renovation work. I share my analysis of this story on my Patreon account for my members. Thank you for listening.